break your news. Welcome to today's headlines. Any attempt by federal government to appeal one billion naira damages is disrespect for judiciary lawyer. Any attempt by federal government to appeal one billion naira damages is disrespect for judiciary lawyer. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. An Abuja-based human rights lawyer, Balumi Olajan Basic, says any attempt by the federal government to appeal the judgment of a high court in Abia State in favor of Unamdekano will amount to a demonstration of bad faith towards the rule of law. Olajan Besi made this known in a statement on Wednesday while reacting to the ruling of Justice Benson Anya ordering the federal government to pay the embattled leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, one billion naira in damages for violating his fundamental right. Kano had approached the court demanding five billion naira over the invasion of his father's house by the military on September 10, 2020. 17. Justice Anya on Wednesday stated that the federal government violated Kano's fundamental right through the invasion of his father's house. The judge ordered the government to issue a letter of apology to Kano, pay him one billion naira damages and recommended political solution to resolve the IPOB leader's detention and agitation. In his reaction to the development, Ola Jen Bisi said, the government should not attempt to appeal the award of damages to Kano, just like it appealed the 20 billion naira damages awarded to Yoruba Nation agitator Sunday at the Yemo, aka Sunday Igbo, in September 2021. Ola Jen Bisi, who resigned as a member of the legal team of Igbo in December 2021 said, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abu Bakr Malami, son, should not make the mistake he made in September 2021 when he appealed the judgment of an Oyo State High Court, which awarded 20 billion naira in damages against the government over the July 1, 2021 invasion of Sunday Igbo's Ibado residence. The AGF and the federal government should take this time around to respect the rule of law and obey the ruling of the court in Abia on the damages awarded against it by the court. The federal government should do as the court has ruled, pay the one billion naira damages to Kanu, 
and explore political solutions to resolve the agitation for secession, as well as the release of the detained IPOB leader. Anything to the contrary is to miscarriage of justice and a flagrant disrespect to the rule of law and the entire third tier of government, which is the judiciary. The President, Major General Muhammad Buhari, retired at during an interview on January 5, 2022, said it won't interfere in the independence of the judiciary. Nigerians know that I don't interfere with the judiciary. Let him be listened to. But those who are saying that he should be released, no, we cannot release him, Buari had said. Meanwhile, Kano appeared in court on Wednesday and pleaded not guilty to the 15 charges bordering on treasonable felony and terrorism preferred against him by the federal government. Justice Onyako subsequently adjourned the trial of Kano to February 16, 2022. An Abuja-based human rights lawyer, Pelumi Olajan Bisi says, any attempt by the federal government to appeal the judgment of a high court in Abia State in favor of Namdekano will amount to a demonstration of bad faith towards the rule of law. <laughs>